Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you a little tip on how you can reinforce your stretch bracelets. Now we get this question a lot. People always have trouble with stretch bracelets with them breaking or wearing out over time, and that can happen, but I'm gonna show you a couple little tricks that I've learned over the years that really help reinforce them. So we are going to be using the Beadsmith Opalon here, and this is our stretch jewelry fiber. I have some eight millimeter wood beads here, and these are gonna help me just sort of demonstrate the technique, but please feel free to use whatever beads that you want. I'm gonna be using a big eye needle, and I brought this out because what's really great is in the pack you get four of them, so you can really utilize these for a lot of different projects. But just to kind of give you a little sneak peek here, this has a really big eye. In fact, it's the whole length of the needle, so this is really great and easy for stringing. All right, so I have a pair of snips. You can also use scissors as well. And then we're gonna be using a little bit of glue. And for this, I recommend getting the GS Hypo Cement. All right, so if you have your little supplies here, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna begin by taking some of our opal on here. And we're just gonna get a good long length because what we're gonna do is we're gonna string through and then string back around. So you wanna make sure that if you're doing a seven inch bracelet, you wanna get 14, but you also want to get a little extra because we're going to be doing um, some knots there as well. So I'm actually going to leave mine on the spool and then that's an easier judge. So what I'm going to do is open my eye needle, slip on the opal on. Now the big eye needle does have a tendency to wear the opal on just a little bit because it can be a little sharp there. So you don't want to place it halfway down because you'll end up sort of sacrificing that opal on, but you can place it maybe an inch or two down from there because we're just going to end up cutting that off anyway. All right, so once you've gotten that ready to go, we're just gonna string up our beads and go ahead and send them all the way down your stretch cord there. Now we love using Opalon. It's the best that we found. It has the most flexibility and strength. So if you are looking to purchase some uh, stretch cord, we do sell it at beadaholic.com. And we sell many different sizes of spools. So if you're just getting into it and you just wanna try it, we do sell small spools. We also sell big bulk packs. So it is whatever you guys need, we've got it. All right. Okay, so now I've gotten all of my beads strung there. So I'm going to kind of move that a good ways down there because what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and kind of make it curve there. And I'm gonna take this and bring it all the way back to the front there. So I'm gonna actually scooch it down just a little bit further because you're just kind of eyeballing this. Obviously it's going to be a little bit tighter when you wear it, but just to kind of eyeball, okay, that'll get me around at least once more and plenty of room for knotting. All right, so now just same as we did before, just go through all those beads just one more time. And this is where that big eye needle is really helpful. It just finds its way straight through there. And you can just see that it just kind of zips up there at the end. And these wood beads are really great. I love the colors and this is a nice multi-pack of colors. So if you did want to incorporate some wood beads into your stretch bracelet, perhaps you want to include some other beads as well. This is great because you'll get the chance to add, you know, maybe just a yellow or a black or, um, you know, a white or a light, light brown. So you have lots of options there. All right. Coming through. And I'm almost back to the beads that I strung. So I'm gonna come all the way back to the front. And now you want to be coming out the same side. So let me kind of flip this around here for you. All right. So I've gone through once and through twice. So I think I'm safe to clip off my opal on now. And we're just gonna set that aside. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually just remove this because I don't wanna poke myself. We're gonna use it again in a minute. So now you take both of these ends and you're just gonna tie a nice overhand knot. But before you do that, go ahead and try to scooch them down. Now, one thing that happens a lot with stretch is that you get it too tight and then the beads kind of crinkle. You don't want that. You want it to kind of feel a little bit loose, not too loose where there's gonna be any thread showing, but a little bit sort of malleable. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this and we're just gonna tie one overhand knot right at the top there. And go ahead and pull that down. And we wanna give it a nice little tug, again, making sure that our beads aren't crunching together. So now, 
we're going to tie another little knot at the top. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to tie a third knot, but I'm going to do it a little different be because I want to catch that bottom cord there because if you see, the knots are on the top, not the bottom there. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of link these together. So I'm going to take one of my cords and go down and sort of come up through there and it makes a little loop and I'm just gonna string my cord through that loop. And what that does is that catches that second cord there. So let me give it a little tug. And now you can see that we have those cords tied together. So just repeat that with the other end just the same way. So you kind of go through the center, come up and go through your little loop and tie a little knot. All right, so now that we have a nice good knot that's happening there, nice and thick, so now what we wanna do is we're gonna take our big eye needle and open it, <laughs> there we go. String it onto one side there, and I'm gonna take this side and I'm gonna go through this first bead here, and I'm gonna go through the second bead. All right, let me go ahead and take that off. And you guessed it, we're just gonna repeat that on the other side. Now you can try to get your stretch cord through there, but sometimes it can be a little, little flimsy, so if you are better working without the needle, you can do that as well. All right, so like we did on the other side, we're going through one bead and going through two. So now you can see what we have going on here is we have our knot there in the center and our two cords coming out here to the side. Now it's time to add a little dab of glue. And I'm just gonna use a little baggie just to protect my work surface here. So the great thing about GS Hypo Cement is that it has this great little needle on the end that the glue comes out of. So you can really get an, it nice and tight in there. All right, so I'm gonna kind of separate the beads there. And you can see my big knot that's happening there. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of glue, kind of getting it all around there. Just a little bit, all the way around the knot. There we go. All right. All right, I'm gonna set that down real quick. Now here's the trick. Take one of your beads and slide it over the knot. And that is going to be your closure. So now you can kind of let everybody come together and this is why you keep those sides out there to the side. So that brown bead right there has the glue inside of it. So he's gonna kind of mold everything together so now the trick is to let this sit for I'd say at least 24 hours because you really want a nice strong bond there. But what we've done is we've created a little knot and we've sort of hidden it inside one of our little beads there. So I'm not gonna stretch it out because I don't want that to happen right now, but I am gonna go ahead and clip off the little sides here. If you want for a little extra reinforcement, if you are using a heavier stone, let's say you're doing this with gemstones, what you can do is you can take your little cord here and you can actually kind of just repeat almost the whole little process that I just did of taking it, going through one bead there. We'll go through here. And then we're gonna kinda come down and around and make a little loop and tie another little knot there. So you can kind of repeat that process if you want and pull it through and add a little bit of glue to a secondary knot. You do not have to, but if you are using, like I said, heavier gemstones, that could be an option for you as well. Because we want your stretch bracelets to have a nice, beautiful, long life to them. All right, so be sure to let that dry 24 hours and then it is all yours to wear and enjoy. You can get all of these supplies by heading over to beadaholic.com and if you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below.